Yo, Darai McGovern, what up, dude? Er, uh, McGovern, what up, dude? Uh, Alright, hold on, let's cook. So, a lot of people give me shit. And I understand why. As you know, I'm not going to. And yeah, I'm going to leave that band. Never mind, I just realized the name. Never mind. Uh, which one? You got. You got this skull one, and then you got this other one, which is my Norse and Japanese one. But I want to speak on something that needs to be spoken on. I know why you trolls hit my Facebook and why you guys hit my YouTube channel. It's because you guys don't like me speaking the truth. You guys hate that I speak the truth. You guys hate that I speak about what you guys do to people like myself. That's why you guys hit those two things. See, what you trolls consider bullying isn't bullying. It's called me fighting back and defending myself. There's a difference. And I am going to say this. The troll shit needs to be made illegal. Why? Why should trolling be made illegal? Why should bullying on the internet be made illegal? Let me tell you. Because of people like the Inquisitor who have killed themselves. And have killed themselves over time. Because of what you trolls do to people, man. No, it's not called hazing. What these people do to me is not hazing. What, what these people are doing is trolling and is considered bullying. But I understand that I've made my fair share of mistakes. Okay? I get that. I understand that I've made mistakes. Alright? I get it. You know, I fucked up. I've made some mistakes in the past. I get it. But my question is this. Why hold somebody like myself to our past? Like, why make us relive our past every single day? Like, I understand that what happened is fucked up, but you also have to, que have to ask the question. Actually, I have on multiple occasions. It's these trolls that have not taken accountability for what they've done to me. I have openly admitted several times to what's going on. The only, and the, let, me, let me explain to you, um, to this your turn, cutie dude, let me explain something to you, man. Well, let me explain to you why I refuse to say what went down. It's not because I'm not taking responsibility. That's not it. That's far from the truth. 
the reason why I don't say it is because I know that there are people out there that are going to rip me to fucking shreds. Even worse than what they already do. I know what these guys are like, dude. I'm not stupid. These guys would fucking rip me apart if I mentioned it. I'm not stupid, dude. I've seen what they've done to other people. There have been people that have gone out of their way and opened up and said what they did. And what happened? They get picked apart by vultures like you. Internet and vultures like you, dude. So, it's not that I'm not taking responsibility. It's that I'm playing the smart game. I'm being smart about how I go about it. Because I see through the garbage, dude. I see right through it all. I'm not dumb. Besides, let me challenge you on this, kid. Whatever your name is, dude. Let me challenge you on this. Why should I take responsibility fully and admit to what I did when none of you motherfuckers ever want to admit to what you did? For every cause, there's an effect. For every action, there's a reaction. Why should I admit to my shit when y'all refuse to take responsibility for yours? Maybe if y'all actually showed some fucking backbone and actually fucked off and showed that you won't attack me, maybe I would be more inclined to, to open up a bit more about everything that went on. But until that happens, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. Because it is on them, nigga. God damn. Matter of fact, you know what's funny? There was a cop that came out here yesterday. And I showed him everything that was going on. I showed him everything from the very start. And you're probably wondering, why was a cop out there? Why was a cop out there? That's easy. Because somebody fucking called in a goddamn welfare check. Again. Somebody called in a motherfucking welfare check again. But when I spoke with this cop, I showed him everything that was going on. I explained to him everything and I showed him all the proof. And even he sat right there and said that I am being targeted. And he agreed with it. Hey, worst nightmare. How you doing, man? Actually, I do, man. Believe it or not, I actually do. Here's the thing. That officer didn't have his body cam on. You want to know why? Because he was aware of what y'all motherfuckers do. He was very aware of what y'all niggas are going to do. And he didn't want that for me. This dude did his fucking research ahead of time. Knew what was going on. And to that officer that came out here saying, man, I do appreciate what you did, man. I fully appreciate that, bro. So shout out to you, my guy.
Like, no joke to that officer that showed up yesterday. If you are, if you just happen to be watching this, man, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for being very understanding and actually allowing me to show you everything and show you what is going on. But this trolling shit, it needs to stop. Y'all motherfuckers ain't doing nobody any fucking favors. I mean, what do you gain from trolling someone besides entertainment? What do you genuinely gain besides a quick laugh in entertainment? What do you gain from bullying someone, from trolling someone? Like, what's the point? Like, I don't understand what the point of trolling is. I genuinely don't get it. Like, when you troll someone, like, it's one thing to troll your friends, okay? You send the comments and you laugh, you joke around, ha, ha, ha. But to bully someone the way you guys do me, y'all need to cut that shit out, dude. Matter of fact, I'm going to start making examples. I'm going to start making examples out of every single troll. Actually, that's not entirely true, Daniel. If they know you and they know that you're not doing anything wrong then they will probably end up turning their camera off if they know the situation. And this officer knew the situation, and he wasn't about that. He knew there was no danger, and there was nothing going on. So there are certain times where they do not have it on. And yesterday was one of those times when their body, when the officer's body cam was not on because they knew that nothing serious was happening. So there are certain situations where they don't have their cameras on. There are certain situations where they will not have it on. Yo, bro, I live in the hood, dude. I literally live in the middle of the fucking hood. All right? I'm surrounded by gunfire almost every fucking day, man. You don't think I don't live in the hood? <laughs> Try living here for a week. You'll hear some gunshots going off, guaranteed. Oh, look, somebody's stealing my shit. Yo, Ross, what up, dude? <clears throat> that is literally the stuff that I am using for my head and everything that's going on with me medically. And when I say medically, I mean like all this crazy shit going on with my head. My family's trying out other means of care to help get it cleared up. It's not easy, but it's slowly getting there. Well, like I said, man, and Ross, even I'm sure you can agree with this, man, that, yeah, what went down with Marty and all that other shit, 
yeah, it wasn't right. Should I have fallen for all that shit? Probably not. But at the end of the day, why hold my past over my head? Like, seriously, why hold my past over my head? Because uh, there, and like dude said, there are some trolls that don't want bad stuff to happen. There really are. Matter of fact, I met one the other day. I sat down and had a fucking two and a half hour conversation with the guy. Really nice dude, by the way. He was one of the guys that was in my comments. And to that dude that was in my comments that I had that conversation with, I want to say thank you for that. I want to say thank you for taking the time to actually sit down and have a conversation with me like a regular human. But even he agreed that, like, no matter what I did, I shouldn't have my past being held against me. I mean, why continue to hold my past against me when I'm trying to better myself? Because when you hold my past against me, that doesn't help me better myself, dude. That keeps me stuck in the same spot. And to Lucky Luke, I challenge you on that. Name one way that I deserve it when I've been trying to do better. I'm literally out here trying to do better. So tell me how I deserve it when I'm trying to show that I'm trying to do better. Please explain to me how you think I deserve it when I'm out here trying to do better. By all means, please, please explain. Like, how, how does trolling someone help? If they're trying to do better for themselves, how does trolling supposedly help them? By all means, please elaborate. By all means, please elaborate and explain to the class here how trolling and bullying someone and making them feel worse than they already do. Please, by all means, explain to everyone here how that's helping anything. Come on, Lucky Luke. Since you brought it up, please share with us your thoughts, my friend. Share with us your thoughts on how bullying someone helps someone that's trying to do better. Please, by all means, explain. Actually, they are. How am I doing better? By speaking out against the bullying. That's how I'm doing better. Like, what you guys do doesn't help nobody. It really don't. What y'all trolls do needs to stop. 
We need to stop normalizing trolling and bullying. But this shit should not be allowed. It shouldn't. Because what y'all do, it affects people's real lives. It really does. Whether you think it does or not, it actually does affect real lives. It really does. By doing the shit you guys do, it affects everyone. It affects that person. It affects their friends, their families. So what I'm trying to understand is why I continue to do it. You know, nobody wants to, you know, and I found this also very interesting as well. Everybody wants to believe the crowd, but they never want to believe the person speaking out. They never want to believe the person speaking out. Like with me. Everybody wants to believe the trolls. But yet I'm over here showing full on proof of what's going on. And yet. No one wants to believe the single word I say when I have actual proof of everything that's going on. Sorry, I'm literally looking for someone right now and because uh, a good friend of mine may have possibly gotten banned and I'm looking to see if he's in the band list. Hopefully he's not because if he is, he's getting pulled down. He's getting made mod. I just go down to the very bottom here and scroll up very slow, like. And you know what gets me above all else, though? Why do y'all trolls feel like you have to dock people that try to help me? That want to genuinely see me do better? Why is that? Like, why do you have to attack people that try to help me out? That want to see me do better? That actually want to see me succeed? Like, why go after them? It doesn't make sense. Sorry, I'm literally looking through, trying to find, dude, hang on.
Here's the thing, dude. Not all of them are buddy trolls, man. Not all people are buddy trolls, dude. You need to realize that. There are some people out there that genuinely want to see me do good. Like, is that really that hard? Like, is that really that hard to understand that there are people that actually want to see me do well? Like, is that such a hard thing to comprehend? Yeah, literally my jacket. Because what you guys are doing is not showing evidence, man. You're just, you're shit talking. And I know the difference between a troll and a shit talker. I know the difference between someone shit talking and someone actually showing evidence. But what's funny is no one ever shows any real proof of anything. It's all just shit talking and hate talking and all that shit. I think I know what's going on with my stream. Huh. Sorry, I'm literally sitting here trying to help a friend out because a friend of mine is not able to comment in chat and I just looked and they're not banned. So, that's weird. And I know a lot of y'all get tired of the same repetitive garbage. But like I said, I take pride in my platform. I do. I actually care about my platform enough to speak out against what is going on and how it's wrong. And how shit needs to change.
That's how much I care about my platform. Because I'm willing to speak out on all the bad shit that goes on and expose the real underbelly of what's going on. The real fucking truth about scumbags like N-Word Boy and all these bitch-ass little trolls. I actually give a fuck about this platform enough to speak out and be like, hey, this is wrong. This is what ain't, this is what needs to stop. This ain't cool. This ain't funny. Because let me tell you, man, if I ran YouTube, all y'all motherfucking trolls would be permabanned. Straight up. The way I would run it is if you're, like, if I see that, you know, you're just joking around with your friends, ha, 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 whatever, having a good time, having a good laugh. then you wouldn't get banned. But when you're out here and you're doing all this malicious garbage and bashing on people and stealing their music and just doing shit you shouldn't be doing, then yeah, you would get perma banned. And what I mean by permaband is you would like you would actually be banned from ever making an account. You would actually have to go out and buy a whole ass new computer. If you ever wanted a new account, you would have to buy a whole ass new computer. That's the way I would run it. Because I actually give a fuck about this platform. Like, if you're out here doing this and that and you have no full-on proof that this person is actually actively doing shit, then you would be banned. That's how I would run it. But unfortunately, that's not the reality we live in. We live in a reality where half y'all trolls are scumbag losers with no jobs. And half y'all niggas probably live in your mom's basement. Wait, did I just see Dylan? No, no, I don't know. Damn, there's a lot of Jason's alternate accounts. God damn.
Sorry, y'all. I was just going through the ban list. Because one of my friends that... One of my friends that... I wanted to be a mod for me. For some reason, cannot... Like, comment. It's weird. So... But yo, to my friend Nick, I know you're watching this, dude. Um, after the stream, I'll try to figure something out. I don't know what's going on, man. Like I said, I just checked YouTube, and you're not banned, so I don't know what the deal is. But now that I'm thinking about it, I am going to end this stream. I am going to delete this one. And I'm going to help you figure that shit out, Nick. So, I'm going to call you up here in a sec, dude. So, be ready for that. 